Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am in Sydney at the moment. I'm just here for a short getaway and I'm staying at the Hayes. Hayes? Who's Hayes? I'm staying at the Ace Hotel in Surrey Hill because I saw it online and I'm pretty happy with the place. And I'm actually wearing like the bathrobe that they let you wear while you're here during your stay. I'm not making any sense. Okay, it's pretty early in the morning so i'm gonna go get coffee after but i thought i'll just come and say hi and i don't really have too much plan while i'm here in sydney i just want to eat everything and just drink everything so i will obviously bring you guys along with me i have quite a few places that i want to check out while i'm here so hopefully i have enough time because there seems to be a lot of good places that i haven't checked out the last time i was in sydney was in 2019 so it's been a while i'm here for two nights and three days so that's a bit more time so i'm gonna eat everything so the first stop is some coffee this morning so i'm gonna get change and we'll go <laughs> more baked goods and we're at AP Bakery. I actually came here yesterday. I'll actually show you yesterday's b-roll because it was really nice and sunny. The weather's not great today but look at all these baked goods. They look so good. So we got a slice of the Bass cheesecake and this is the Aleppo pepper and Asiago cheese grill. So I think I mentioned this before but I am now at AP Bakery and it is located on the second floor of the Paramount House Hotel so they have a cafe downstairs and you have to go through and go into the elevator to get to the second floor because I actually came here yesterday and I was like where is this place? I was downstairs trying to be like where are all the baked goods because I've seen the photos on Instagram and it looks so good and they just have these baked goods on display and everything looks so so good. I'll show you guys what I got yesterday. I got this like big ricotta danish that was so yummy and we came back today again because we had to try more things i'll probably come back again tomorrow because look at how good everything was so we only got two things one sweet one savory so let's try it mm. pastry is so buttery and flaky and yummy and there's some chili on top that's not overly spicy and you guys can see the cheese it's Quite subtle, but really, really yummy. Let's try this cheesecake. They also have a breakfast and lunch menu. So we tried the smoked brisket bagel and also the fried chicken sandwich. I can't remember exactly what's in the sandwich or what sauce it was, but I found that both of them were just okay. Personally for me, I definitely preferred their baked goods. Like that was where it was at. So we're currently in an Uber because we're on the way to the new Messina headquarters and it's in Merrickville. I think that's where it is. I saw the photos on Instagram. They look so cool. It looks like quite a big space and I don't know, it looks really fun. So I thought I'll bring you guys along with me. It's still drizzling a little bit and it's pretty early. What time is it? I should get under here. It is 10.18 and I don't 
think it's open. Today is Thursday, 12 o'clock. So it's not open yet, but I think I may be able to get in. Hopefully. <laughs> I just noticed that there's this cute little Messina ice cream truck. How cute is this? There is a kitchen here where they make all their gelato and any components that go into it, like any biscuits or cakes. I'm in the Messina store. Look at all the merch here. All right, I'll give you guys some better B-roll instead of me just like talking and showing you around. There's also, look at this chocolate display. We have Fovos. Okay, there's just a bunch of really, really yummy stuff. We don't get this at the Messina in Melbourne. I got some chocolates from Messina. They don't have these in Melbourne yet, so I am so excited for these. I showed you guys before, they had so many different flavors in the cabinet, but I got four of them. So this is a malt one, there's a plane going past, it's so loud. So this is malt pistachio. This is an ice Vovo inspired one and Nutella. So let's quickly try it because my Uber is on the way. We're going into the city. Okay, I have to go. This is so good. Continue on later. I'm back in the car. I didn't really tell you guys what an ice burger was, so that was the flavor of that little chocolate I was eating before. So, this is usually what an ice burger looks like, and it says an ice burger is a wheat flour biscuit topped with two strips of pink fondant, a strip of raspberry jam, and sprinkled with coconut. So, that's the flavor of an ice burger, and that was pretty much what that tasted like. It was so yummy. We are now heading back into the city to go to Bar Toddy's because. I've heard some good things about that place. I think they opened one in Melbourne, but it's like not in the city, it's like a bit further out. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, I guess I'm not going there. So I'm glad that I'm now in Sydney. So we're gonna try Bar Toddy's. They have this like flatbread or whatever bread that is. It looks so yummy. And one of my subscribers, Paula, hi, if you're watching, thank you so much for sending me a bunch of recommendations. She suggested so many yummy places, but the thing is, I'm only here for two days, three days, two nights. Yeah, so it's quite short. I'm gonna try my best to go to as many places as I can and just eat everything. So let's go to Bar Toddy's now. Let me give you guys a little room tour. Look at how nice the room is. Okay, that's just my stuff. Ignore it. I tried my best to tidy it up before I give you guys this little room tour. So they even give you this guitar. 
pretty cool and then there's also this record player here I haven't tried using it yet but I'll definitely give it a go at some point because there are some records here that you can use I'm gonna switch this on so there is a really nice king bed here and this is what they call the day bed that you can just sort of hang and then the view is not the best because it's just next to a building but that's totally fine and they also left this really cute message when I got into the room and what else can I show you guys I also love how you can close the blinds with this button look at that wow I wish I had this at home that would be really handy anyway let's open it up because I want some light in the room what else can I show you guys? I already show you guys a record player. You can pair your device to play some music. I still haven't tried this out. I think the room key that they give you is really cool looking. There's also some snacks here if you get hungry. It's not complimentary. Let me show you guys the bathroom. I love how big this room is. It is a large room that I'm staying in and the double sinks I love and they also provide you with these ropes that you can wear during your stay and I think they sell a lot of the products that they have in the room because I saw on their website that they sell this stool for like $700 or something it was very expensive it is a cool stool but I don't think I'll be buying this um, that's just the toilet and I love that there's a bathtub because I don't have a bathtub in my apartment so it's always fun when there's a bathtub somewhere else and then in here it's just the shower and they also give you some products to use which is really good because I didn't pack any of these so they give you body wash shampoo and conditioner and I also think they sell this downstairs I don't know what brand this is um, but it's pretty good I've been using it so yeah that is the room that I'm staying at while I'm here in Sydney I'm really happy with the location of the hotel because it's pretty close to the city like it's probably a 10-15 minute walk and around here there's so many nice cafes and restaurants so yeah I would recommend it I was a little bit scared when I was booking this hotel because I saw either really good reviews of the place or really bad ones but I think it's good. The Ace Hotel Sydney is fairly new here and yeah, I'm happy that I chose this place. Anyway, I'm just gonna relax for a bit guys. I've been walking and eating all day so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm now at Polly because it's a two minute walk from my hotel so we're here to grab a quick little drink. This is the drink menu and I'm getting a cocktail called Rock the Boat. So it has vodka, sake, rock melon, rose water, blood, lime, citrus and whites. And I think we're just gonna order something small because we're gonna go to Esther for dinner after this. And obviously I'll take you guys along with me. I was recommended Esther by someone a few months ago and they spoke really, really highly of this place. So I booked it and we're gonna go. Um, so hopefully it's good. This is so yummy. <laughs> so this is our little snack before we head for dinner at Esther. It looks like a really big hash brown. So this is the fried potato, salted egg yolk and chives. That's good. So we made it to Esther. I'm so sorry about the bad quality. My camera doesn't do well in low lighting, but I just really wanted to show you guys what we had. I got this really yummy blueberry meringue cocktail. This is the potato bread and trout roe and potato dauphines with beef fat butter. I know this just looks like a bunch of vegetables, but they were actually grilled figs and goat's curd underneath. The star of the show was the steak. This is probably the tastiest steak I've had in a very long time. And for dessert, we got the bread and butter ice cream. I went to Ante Bar next or Ante Bar. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is a really cool sake bar and I just wanted to check out the vibes and they had a little food menu too, but I was way too full to eat anything. I only got this triple ume sour and that was another super yummy cocktail. Good morning guys. So today is my last day in Sydney. The two days went by so quickly. So my flight is at 5.30 today. So I still have time to hit up some places. I have to check out the hotel at 12 o'clock. So what time is it? 
it is now 8 50 in the morning so i'm planning to go to this coffee place called addition roasters and then i might okay i will <laughs> go back to AP Bakery again to get more baked goods. There is also another place called Load. I went there on the first day that I arrived. I like vlogged it but I wasn't like talking in the vlog but I'll still show you guys anyway and it was so so yummy. I had this Wagyu mushroom pie and also a sweet one that was a passion fruit curd tart. Is it a tart? I don't know. It was passion fruit something and it was so so good their pastry was also so flaky you could see all the different layers and it was really really delicious so i might go there or ap bakery obviously i'll bring you guys along with me i've been eating so much baked goods over the last few days but it's okay because you know we're here on holiday so i just want to eat everything Anyway, I need to stop rambling. Oh, the sun is coming out. You know, the weather was not great yesterday. It was like sort of raining on and off all day. But hopefully today's a little bit better. Let me just check the weather quickly to see if I need to bring an umbrella. So it says it's 16 degrees now, which isn't too bad. And it doesn't look like it's that rainy. It's like top of 20. So it seems quite nice. Okay, let's just stop talking. Let's go get some coffee or matcha. Maybe I feel like matcha. Okay, anyway, see you guys soon. We are back at AP Bakery because it's like a two minute walk from Ace Hotel. So it's really close and they have such a wide range of baked goods that I couldn't eat everything over the last two days. So today we only got two things again and this one is the Macadamia honey and thyme twice baked croissant. There's something on the inside. It's like caramelly, buttery macadamia. That's so yummy. I also got a savory one, which is the smoked eggplant and pulled pork. So after this, I think we might head to the sushi store. It's about a 10 12 minute walk from here because. I think the Martin Rose collab is coming out today. I don't know whether they'll have it at the Stussy store here in Sydney, but they usually get all the good releases, so we're gonna check it out. The store opens at 10 o'clock, so it's 9.40 now, we have some time. So I'll bring you guys along with me, but I don't think I can vlog in the store. I'll show you that outside, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Made it to the Stussy store. It's just over here. There is a little line, which I guess is expected. I don't even know what I want from the collection because I just saw the little preview from that Supreme Leaks thing. I might end up just getting a t-shirt. Actually, I just wanted to see whether anything was good. But every time there's like a line or something, I'm like, okay, since I'm here, I might as well just get something. So we'll see. Anyway, I need to get on the covers because it's drizzling. The rain is starting again. The, I was gonna say Supreme, no, we left the Stussy store and it felt like a little bit hectic because the people in front of us were like trying to buy everything but we just ended up getting a hoodie and like that little car air freshener set it came in a set, I'll show you guys later on but now we're just gonna go to Supply which is that little door in there that one I definitely cannot film. I tried to like film a little bit in Stussy and wasn't supposed to. So hopefully, I don't know, they don't get angry. Let me show you guys what we picked up from the Martin Rose collab. In terms of clothing, I think there were like a few hoodies, some t-shirts, and then there's also this car mat, which was kind of cool and like a little furry leopard steering wheel cover. I got this little like air freshener set. So the air freshener comes in a set of two. This is what it looks like. It was $49. And then the hoodie came in two different colors. There was a tan one and a black one. Juicy's hoodies do fit a little bit big, but they're quite boxy and a little bit cropped, I think. I don't know whether I'm describing that properly. I usually wear a small in Juicy hoodies. On the front here, you can see there is the Stussy and Martin Rose co-branding. And then the back there is this graphic here. Hopefully you guys can see. Am I supposed to know who these people are? Okay. 
<laughs> this is what the back looks like anyway. I think it is a nice piece from the collection. They had a few different t-shirts in like pale yellow color, maybe blue. I can't remember. When we got to the store, the people in front of us were like way too excited. So they took everything off the rack and like the only thing that was hanging was like a black hoodie. They did have a lot of stock, but I think maybe they were like way too excited. So they're out here trying to buy everything. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that we were here in Sydney for the release. We didn't plan it that way. We kind of were just looking at like the Martin Rose stuff and we're like, oh, it's releasing today. We might as well just go check it out. So when I went to the supply store, they were actually putting out some new human made stuff, but they told me to go back in like half an hour because they still had to like, you know, fix the VM and everything. So I'm happy that suppliers started stocking human made because you guys know that I love human mate. They don't get obviously the collab stuff. Usually all the Verdi or like Corliss collab is online only. I actually picked up something from the Girls Don't Cry collab like a few weeks ago. It's like this little wool beret and I was gonna save it to do an unboxing but I haven't done it. I'll show you guys at some point because I actually opened the box and the box was so cute on the inside that I was like oh, I have to save this for an unboxing so I like put it back and like left it in a corner. So at some point when I get back to Melbourne, I'll do that. Um, another thing before I pack up my stuff because I got to check out in like half an hour. I thought I'll do a quick little unboxing of these two things that I picked up from Kinokuniya, which is a Japanese bookstore in Sydney. So they are these magazines that come with a little lamp on the inside. I'm sure you guys know like a lot of Japanese magazines, they do like a little gift thing. This costs $64 and this one's around the same, like 60 something. And this one obviously is a vape one. I saw it and I was like, <gasps> it is so cute. So I think this is a little nightlight. So I thought I'll just open it together for you guys because I don't really know what it actually looks like. I just saw the little photo. I'm like, oh, it's vape. It's got to be cute. So this is the little magazine section, which is cool. I'm actually really excited for this. How do I take this out? Do I take out like the whole, okay, maybe I take out the whole cardboard insert. Ta-da! This is the lamp. They give you the little cable here. This is what it looks like. Obviously, it's not charged, so you can't see it on. It's actually quite a decent size. I think it would look quite nice. It's like a little home decor. There is a photo of it on the inside. That is what it looks like when it's like lit up. How cool. Okay, so next one is the Murakami one. I'm pretty sure... Do you guys remember when they had that pancake pan? It was like a similar situation where it was like part as a gift from a magazine. I don't think it's the same magazine though. This is from Mono Masters and I think it is a furniture design magazine. I could be wrong. Interior, I don't know. I, I don't know guys. I, I don't really know what I'm looking at. But I saw that it was like a Murakami thing. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. So this is what the little lamp is meant to look like when it's turned on. That is really cute. Hopefully I'll be able to pack these into my suitcase. So I guess I could throw the box away since I don't really need them. I don't think the lamps are that fragile because they are like a silicone material. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Look at how small this little lamp is. I definitely did not need to bring that box home with me. Let me get it out of this bubble wrap packaging. I'll keep this on so I can pack it home but <laughs> it looks like a little bell. Look at this. So cute. This is the big one and this is how little the Murakami one. So this little manual says it's battery operated. I can't wait to like put a battery in there to see what it actually looks like when it's turned on. And I think you can just turn it on by pressing this little button here. But it definitely looks a lot cuter when it's on based on the photo in the magazine. But if you look at it closely, you can see the little Murakami flowers on there. I need to deal <laughs> with the mess I just made. Finish packing my stuff, check out the hotel, and then I'm planning to go for lunch at this place called Bar Copain. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. It's in Surrey Hill. It's not too far from a hotel. So we're gonna check that out. I looked at Instagram, it looks yummy. I am still pretty full because I had some pastries already this morning. And I actually got a coffee on the way back as well. We went to this place called Single O. They have this little section on the left of the store where you can do like a little selfie.
self-serve moment. So you can just use your iPad, click what you want, and then just pay, and then you can just like self-serve. They have these coffee dispenser things, which are kind of cool. So they're like cold ones. I got like an ice oat flatty. That's what they call it. But they also have like batch brews or filters, if you prefer that. Anyway, okay, let's just stop talking, finish packing, and I'll see you guys at Bar Copain. Bar Copain? <laughs> stop before we head to the airport we're gonna go to this bar called Re Bar it's just right ahead but it's in this really cool area the street is called locomotive street there is a bunch of different like restaurants along here which looks really nice so the bar is just straight ahead Cool is that so they use waste fruit items to make cocktails so I got the creaming soda which has vodka lemon curd salted brown butter and rhubarb cream soda and I love how they give you a little cake here with some lemon curd and this one is a funky one it is the Harris farm one so it says root vegetables which is the waste product and they've incorporated a vodka so hey kettle one is a vodka mr black coffee liqueur caramelized carrot and potato coffee how funky does that sound i'm now here at the airport we made it i am so full very sleepy so i can't wait to just get home and go to bed but i hope you guys enjoyed my little sydney vlog if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye, bye.